News from India now. Prime Minister Modi is back in the country and he is hitting the ground running. He chaired a meeting of the Niti Aayog Governing Council today, which is the first meeting after his return to power. Prime Minister Modi reiterated the Niti Aayog's role in fulfilling his mantra of Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas or uh, development for everyone across the board. He said that the governance system was now characterized by performance, transparency and delivery. He also put forward the goal of making India a $5 trillion economy by 2024. He said this was going to be possible with the concentrated efforts of all states. The Prime Minister also talked about boosting income and employment, water conservation and management. The meeting is being held at the Rashtrapati Bhavan and attended by Chief Ministers, Lieutenant Governors of Union Territories as well as many Union Ministers. As per reports, the water crisis, farmer issues and drought conditions will top the meeting agenda. Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar is uh, of course going to be raising the demand of special category status for his state. The newly instated Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Jagan Mohan Reddy, is also making the same demand. However, three Chief Ministers stayed away from the meet, including West Bengal's uh, Mamta Banerjee, Telangana's uh, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, and Punjab Chief uh, Minister Captain Amrinder Singh. Mamta Banerjee had earlier written a letter to Prime Minister Modi in which he had said that the Niti Aayog was formed without consulting all chief ministers and that her attending the meet would be fruitless as the panel doesn't have the power to support the state. Remember, Niti Aayog had been constituted in 2015 to replace the planning commission. It doesn't have any financial powers like the erstwhile commission. Some of the states have been asking for more power to be vested within the Niti Aayog. The leaders of Asian countries have gathered in Dushanbe, Tajikistan or C for the CICA conference on interaction and confidence building in Asia. External Affairs Minister of India, Dr. S. J. Shankar, was at the summit. Chinese President Xi Jinping, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, Sri Lanka's President Metripala Sirisena and Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan are among the other dignitaries who attended the summit. SICA is Pan-Asia Forum for Enhancing Cooperation and Promoting Peace, Security and Stability in Asia. The theme of this year's summit is a shared vision for a secure and more prosperous SICA region. Addressing the leaders, the Indian Foreign Minister Dr. Jay Shankar echoed the Indian Prime Minister's call at the SCO to combat terrorism and extremism. The terrorists and the victims must never be equated. SICA has always shown a strong commitment to combat terrorism and extremism and adopt a comprehensive strategy to combat them. Early finalization of the Comprehensive Convention on International Terrorism proposed by India is today even more essential and we seek your support. In Afghanistan, we have supported a national peace and reconciliation process which is Afghan-led and Afghan-owned. We believe all initiatives and processes must include all sections of Afghan society, including the legitimately elected government. India has been part of SICA since its inception. The first summit was attended by late Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee in 2002 in Kazakhstan. India's Foreign Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar also held meetings with his counterparts from Bahrain, Bangladesh on the sidelines of SICA. During these meetings, J. Shankar reviewed the recent progress made in bilateral ties with these countries. 